Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have three boxes of these ballpark collection, three baseball packs per box. One in four boxes contain a hit. And of course, me being the bright guy, I bought three boxes. So, can't even say if you don't get a hit, you know, it was against the averages. I just wasn't bright enough to uh, purchase that fourth box. But, you know, what are you going to do? I saw these at Walgreens. I just picked them up just like that. I believe they're about 12 bucks a box. Um, they're actually boxed up pretty well here. Just trying to get it open. Give me one second. Got a scissor now. And still probably damaging stuff on the inside here. No idea what kind of packs. I'm assuming very little value. I'm assuming very little upside to it. But, hey, three packs to open or three packs to open per, per thing. So we got 88 Fleer. Panini Golden Age, which I'm not too familiar with, I have to admit, and Opening Day 2022, which is almost the most least valuable thing in the world. So let's do the Opening Day 2022. Hey, maybe I could pull a Wanda Franco, right? That'd be that card. That card's a good I'll investment. I don't know those people happy who who invested hundreds, if not even thousands of dollars in the Wanda cards. Probably never gonna play again. Was the latest rumor? I thought I just pulled a Wanda uh, with the colors. So anyway, not to make light of, you know, somebody else suffering and people having problems and whatnot, but, man, that's just a, a rough thing to go. I wonder if his contract is guaranteed. I mean, like, if he goes to jail, I wonder what the rules are. Lots of rookies, but nothing that stands out to me, at least. You know, d does he does he still keep the money, or? I don't know. He's already got, he, in, in his year and a half that he's been playing, he probably has enough money to live off of, right? Because he signed a contract. Ron Guidry. I like that card because I'm a Yankee fan, so I'll put him up on the stand because, you know, that could be amongst the better cards that we pull here. Brett Butler, the red, white, and blue of 88 game closers. Paul Molitor, I'll put him on the stand too because, you know, it's Paul Molitor. Michael Moore, Bob Melvin, fine to see him as a player. All right, well, you know. The one thing with these boxes, lots of times you get repeat packs. So I'm, I'm expecting opening day, 88 Fleer, Golden, again, Golden Age, Panini. Six trading cards. No idea what this is about. Not exactly a high end. Oh, look at this. This isn't even baseball. Isn't this ballpark my collection? Shouldn't this be a baseball is pack? No, no. And my day is Somebody, King Tut's Tomb. Hey, Josh Gibson, worth nothing. Billy. Mummy? I haven't even heard of that person. And then a little useless card of oh, Jake Lamota. Yeah, well, so I, I would personally say these packs are the least value, as it turns out. I would take opening day over that. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. This might be a loser. This might not be the uh, best opening for me. So far, I got Ron Guidry and Paul, Paul Molitor. And I paid about 12 bucks for those two cards. Whoops. I'm doing almost as good as people who uh, invested in Wander. And this time, we get, what is it, 1990 Fleer. I think I would take 88. Oh, another one of these things. <laughs> another one of these things. Oh, this is this is looking rough. This is, this is one of those things I'm going to have to file a little thing saying, maybe you want to skip these boxes. That one in four hit. I wonder what the hit is uh, on these packs. I almost said something I didn't want to say. Butch Cassidy, nothing to do with baseball. Uh, this is just a card. Overshadows presidential things, could care less about. Nope. Sleepy Billy Burns. Never heard of you, but at least you look like you're a ball player. Some chick. And another chick. Alright. I don't think I've ever said chick twice in the same... Uh, same day, and for some reason on video, I decided to say check a couple of times. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Hopefully my mother isn't watching. And she is. She don't care. Nelson Cruz, I don't think. Miguel Cabrera. Jared Cole, probably the Cy Young Award winner this year on a, on a below 500 team. Bomb Squad. Zach Wheeler on my fantasy team. He's done well a couple of seasons in a row. Verlander, still in that Astros uniform. 
Let's see. This is the big pack. I, I feel like really I'm basically paying 12 bucks for each one of these FLIR packs. Talk about a, a racket. This was not the, the wisest, wisest of decisions here, but sometimes you got to take a bullet. I was hoping that was a Joe Girardi. I was always a Girardi fan. Benito. Bobby Rose. Not the Rose I was hoping for. Randy Reddy. Randy Reddy. That's a cool name. Randy Reddy. Sounds like, you know, uh, could be a movie name. Could be a adult movie name. Chuck Finley. How's Chuck doing at this point? 16 and 9. He's just doing okay. Well, so far, Ron Guidry and Paul Mahler. Best cards I got. I don't know what to tell me about this one. This, this isn't looking uh, so good. Got one more box. I don't get a hit or something that's worth, you know, something. Let's see. Well, at least I get the 88 packs again, which I personally prefer. And again, two absolutely borderline worthless. Maybe not even borderline. Maybe they just are. Does opening day have anything of value that I'd want to get? Maybe at least I can get a player that I care about a little bit. Opening day, Oakland, Oakland Athletics. Nice looking card, but Alvarez, McNeil, Belt, not a thing. This pack feels a little thick. Maybe there's like a relic type of thing. I, I've known these kind of packs to have that kind of junk in it. Yeah, something a little thick at least. So, I mean, might be stretching to call it a hit, but another Billy Mummy. That's just great. Bonham. And not a hit. That's just the way this is going to go, huh? A blank board. This, just a weighted to pull you out. That's what I got from my hit. That's so funny. I'm going to put that up here as a hit. Because that's just that's a $30. Look at this. A chick. Might as well be a chick. What in the world? This is that guy who is a, a I'm going to say midget, little person, short person, whatever. He tried to bat. That's just great. Get me all excited. I think I have a dopey little relic, somebody's shirt or something. They give me a white piece of a board. All right, 88 Fleer. If I can get the, uh, I don't know, Vince Coleman, Roger Clemens. I mean, hey, I like Vince Coleman. I'll put him up on the board because I, I don't have anything else. And Clemens, I'll put up on the board because we ain't got much else here. Doug Jones. Ozzy Gann, is that a rookie? Don't look like it. Shelby. What do you say? Can we get one good card? Is it possible? Curtis Ford. Well, so for about $36, let me show you what I got for $36. $36. I got myself Roger Clemens, Vince Coleman. Ron Guidry, Paul Molitor, and uh, Whitey here. Nice little white board. It's actually, I mean, it is probably the most valuable thing I have. I don't really use those card blockers to like slow roll the the uh, the reveal. But still, that is pretty hard. So let me show you this. What I think is a piece of trash. Ballpark collection, three baseball packs, one in four boxes have a hit. Um, highly recommend not going for these. This is just the Fairfield Company. I know they put out a lot of stuff, and I always get it whenever they put out new boxes and stuff like that. I always get a couple just for the sake of getting it. But let's be fair $12 a piece, $36 for what we just got. I mean, it's not even, I, I don't know how you could have gotten your money back. Like, with those packs, there, there was nothing in those packs that I'm aware of that could add up to the value of what I paid for it. So it's just just a losing proposition. They're, how much money do they make? The the 88 Fleer, what do they cost to average out to? A buck a pack? Um, same thing with that Panini thing, which was useless, and same thing with opening day. So they put less than $3 worth of cards, I bet, when you buy them in bulk. And then how much does a cardboard cost? Let's say the cardboard boxes, which are very nice boxes, and they're thick and, you know, all that kind of stuff. 
let's say these boxes run two bucks a piece, five bucks, and they sold it for twelve, so they're making a hundred and thirty percent profit almost, hundred and twenty-five percent profit. Not bad, Fairfield, but you know, I'm not gonna curse. I'm not gonna be like that. Having a little rough time. The Yankees are doing bad. I'm not pulling some good cards anymore. But there's always a next pull. Thanks for watching. If you hung in there, hey, if anyone wants to trade me for uh, for a whitey here, just let me know. You know, we could work something out. Maybe you got a paper clip or something you want to trade with me. Just let me know in the comments. Appreciate you watching. Talk to you soon. Took a bullet for you guys. Thanks. Go Yankees. Actually, go Yankees should lose. What am I talking about? The, the worst they do, maybe clear some house, get some people out of there. Forget about the Yankees. Just have a nice day.